Hello. Hello. How are you today? I'm uh, so so. Okay. How was your day? Well, in my room or in my room all day. Gonna stop. <laughs> okay. What I, do, what I needed to do. Sure. Yeah, be, being in your room all day, you know, it's it's kind of good. Uh, so, sometimes it doesn't have hot like it is. So is it hot where you are? I didn't hear you. Repeat me. Check this here. Okay, there. Um, Samuel, Elizabeth, can you hear me? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't hear because my my señal no es muy buena. Okay, that's good. All right. So, what's today's date? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so, May twelfth. May twelfth. 12th is correct. That is the correct date for for today, May 12th. Yes. yes. Do you remember the topics that we covered yesterday? Yeah. Um. What were the topics? About first, then next, after that, and finally? Yes. Uh, do you remember the name of those words? Future with future we will, will be going be going to and and will. Okay, that that was another topic, and the ones that Elizabeth mentioned first, then after, and finally, what's the name of that? Do you remember the name? Those are called sequence adverbs. Sequence adverbs. Um, and we use them to indicate the sequence of something. What you do first, what you do next, what comes after, what you do then. And at the end, you say finally. So, you use them to express a sequence of events. Are there any questions related with sequence events? That is um, when can we use for everything? Sure. Yeah, we it use doesn't them matter when, when for the for different topic or, sure. or situation. Yes, you use them a, under any circumstance where you are explaining how something happened, how something happens, or how something will happen. So you use it under different scenarios um, in different tenses. Okay. For example, in a uh, car accident. Yes. So when the police officer comes, you explain how the cars crashed. Okay. okay. Yes. So you use them under any circumstance. Okay. Sure. Okay. So, um, and also you were mentioning uh, going to and will. When do we use those two? I, for example, in going to is a, is a, when use when, when you expect something to happen or, or, or I really made a arrangement to, to do something in, in the future. And okay. will we haven't made a decision yet? But uh, with a little uh, make a prediction, 
is, is similar. Okay, good, yes. So when, like, uh, like Samuel was saying, when you, um, when you make arrangements, you use going to, and if you are not sure about something, you will say uh, will. So we'll, we'll be talking about that uh, after. Um, what else did we talk about yesterday? Anybody? Elizabeth mentioned the uh, adverse of sequence and then Samuel mentioned going to and will. Did we talk about anything else yesterday? No. No. So only only check the 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 exercise and the and the platform. Exactly. Exactly. So we also check some exercises uh, that are in the platform. Are there any questions about yesterday? No. No. Okay, so let me share with you the, um, the, 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 the let me see what kind of headsets do you all right um so let me show you this S screen share and this one here. Have you seen this in the platform? Yes. Yes. All right. So on the left side, we have examples on how to use going to. On the right side, we have examples of how we use will. So um, I need a volunteer to read all the examples that we have on the left side, please. Um, uh, I. Okay, please. Uh, what are you going to do? I'm going to relax at the beach. Mm -hmm. We're going to surf him every day. Yes. I'm not going to do anything special. Very good. Thank you. So as you can see, it doesn't matter if it's a question, if it's positive or if it's negative, you always use going to. And we use going to to talk about plans for the future. So um, today was the day that my Dewey is uh, the the number of my Dewey allows me to go outside just today. So someone asked me yesterday, "What plans do you have for tomorrow?" I said, "Well, I'm going to go to the bank. I'm going to go to the supermarket, and maybe I'm going to go visit my mother real quick." That was some of the plans that I had for today. But the question came yesterday, and since I'm talking about plans that I already had, I have to use going to. Uh, are there any questions or comments on the left side? No, it's clear. Okay. Teacher, teacher. Yes, yes, Elizabeth. Um, I I understand um, the verb is if always in present. Yes. Relax. Go do. Yes, it's it's always a uh, base form. Going okay. to do. Going to relax. Go do. So the verb is always base form, Elizabeth. Okay. Thank you. Sure. All right. Um, anybody else has any other comments or questions? No. 
All right, so I need another volunteer to read the right side of the examples that we have with Will. Me. Okay, please. What are you, what are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll watch a few DVDs. I don't know. I think I'll go camping. Uh -huh. I probably won't go anywhere. All right, thank you. So uh, if you compare the two sides, the one on the left side of the screen, we're talking about plans that you have. Well, obviously your plans can change. But when you have an agenda and you already have plans, you use going to. Now, if it's a possibility or you're making a decision at the time you're speaking without thinking before, without planning before, then you will say, um, will. So Maricela was reading, what are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll watch a few DVDs. I don't know. I think I'll go camping. I probably won't go anywhere. So all the examples that we have here on the right side, they are just possibilities. Or maybe you are not sure if you will really do it at the end. Are there any questions or comments on the right side? Yeah, I have a question. Yes, ask me. What is the difference between will and would? Okay, will is for future, would is hypothetical. Now, remember that would makes the verb into something hypothetical. I would go, but I have to work. Yo iría, pero tengo que trabajar. I would tell you but it's confidential, le diría, pero es confidencial. So when you use would plus the verb, the verb becomes uh, uh, something hypothetical, something that is not going to happen. Okay, thank you. So it, it's like if I said, if I told you a secret, would you keep it to yourself? If I told you a secret, si yo le dijera un, un secreto, Se lo mantendría solo para usted. So it's hypothetical because maybe I will not tell you a secret. Maybe it's just a question. Anybody else has any other questions or comments? Yes. Uh, when you can uh, use any any way, any any about this uh, option i guess maybe thing or probably or okay. only uh, or only can use uh for example all you stay home okay uh, or, good. or watch a few dvds okay uh if it's a possibility you know it says at, at the beginning here use will plus verb for possible plans now, possible is maybe 50-50 before you have made a decision. So you say, I'm not sure, maybe, I think, or probably. This right here tells you that what you are about to say, it's only a possibility. And that's why you need to be a little bit more specific and say, I'm not sure, maybe, I don't know, I think, or I probably and then you say uh, whatever the complement is. So, uh, yes. When you are talking about your plans in the future, you have to use will or would? Uh, if, if you're talking about possibilities, then you should say will. You should say will. So, like I like I said before, would is something hypothetical. If my boss gave me permission, I would visit my uncle in San Vicente, for example. If I had the money, I wouldn't work on weekends. 
That is also hypothetical. If I had money, but the truth is I don't have money, so I have to work on weekends. Okay. Yes, anybody else? Any questions or comments? Okay, did you have any type of plans for the end of March or Semana Santa? Can you guys hear me? Can, can you repeat the, the question? Yes. Uh, before this emergency came about COVID-19, uh, did you have any plans for the end of March or for Semana Santa? Yeah. Any plans? Going to the beach. Everybody. <laughs> Okay. Going to the WB or going to the another country. Okay. <laughs> but all the plans that you had, uh, they were canceled because of the emergency call that the president yeah. made. Yeah. Right? So I'm going to put you working pairs. You guys are gonna be working together, you guys are gonna be working in couples, and you will tell your friend the plans that you have once the emergency is finished. So you will tell your friend, if I'm working with Elizabeth, for example, I will say, you know what, Elizabeth, when the emergency finishes, I'm going to visit my grandparents in San Miguel. Or when the emergency passes, um, I'm going to go to the gym more frequent, for example, just an example. And I know that right now you guys have plans. So when the emergency is finished, you guys go to those plans, right? Okay. Right, Francisco. Okay, good. All right. Okay. So, I have uh, a question. Yes, ask me. And we will have to use um, the uh going to to talk about our plans right 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 yes if 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 you said if you have imagine that you already have the permission from your office and the boss your boss already told you look when this is officially finished you will have your two week vacation so you already have the the word of from your boss so you already have plans so if you already have plans you use going to if it's only a possibility, then you're going to, you're going to use will. Okay, and thanks. All right. Any other questions or comments related with the next activity? No? All right, so Not I'm going teacher. to... All right, good, thank you. Uh, so I'm going to assign you to work in, in groups, uh, in pairs actually. And breakout room, 17 people. I'm going to make eight beers. Two and three. Here we go.
Let me see what it is. Another municipio. So I yes, I have to thank you. For okay, me, it's your turn. Okay, for me I going to I can't not for this time. That's wonderful. And you, uh, you did, did did you buy a ticket for that? Yes. I had really? the and also the um, the rest. and but now I make exercise at midnight in the twelve at one in thirty in the afternoon mm. because I, I eat really I'm having my breakfast very late so mm -hmm. I don't have hunger for oh, the yeah. lunch. Um, I will also visit my my parents um, yeah. in San Vicente. Mm -hmm. I want to go to the because well it was it, it was going to be on on Ma March no in April for the first first week of April first week. But now fourth country I would like now Guatemala okay yeah and what are you talking about uh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> huh we're talking about uh, add her to the WhatsApp group. Oh, so she's she's not in the group yet. No, teacher, I don't have the pictures. The... Okay, did you receive an email from uh, Inglés Corporativo? Uh, yeah, I can check. Okay, so they sent you an email like two weeks ago, maybe a little bit more. And uh, they give you, in the email, they give you different links, including the WhatsApp group, including the, um, uh, the access to the platform. So you want to check um, that email and, and, and look for the links that they sent you. Okay, and I enter to the link, in the link. Yes, it depends if you want to join the WhatsApp group, if you want to check classes in uh, YouTube, if you want to go to the platform, it depends what you want to do. Uh, okay, I'll check right now. Okay. Chalchuapa City. And, okay. Uh, in Chalchuapa City, it's... Um, um, System, operating, operating system. And, and yeah, I, yeah, I will do uh, any other things. Maybe, is a, for example, is a installing a, a electric. Is the finish liquidation mm -hmm. for more people? I don't know if for three months it is similar for my son uh, it's my birdo my birdo is son and he he turned I don't know what it is um, 10 years old he, he for celebration uh, for, for his birthday for, for his birthday his birthday celebration Yes, but we we can. Uh, but we in TikTok, Instagram. My goodness! Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I never know. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. This. I don't know the things. But my little boy tell me, look TikTok. <gasps> my goodness. Quiero hacer al salir de la emergencia. 
Ah, this is okay. the question. The question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> the series is, what uh, is the first thing you will get out of the emergency? Uh, you were you were saying to me that, that that you were very short. Oh yeah. Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you? Fine. Good. What are you up to? Uh, we just finished uh, <clears throat> telling each other what what, what we want to do when this quarantine uh, it is Finishes. over. Yeah, just finished, and uh, now we're talking like. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Just to, just to kill time. Right. It's about one more minute and then we go back to the main session. Okay, great. Okay. All right, good. Yeah, maybe I'll visit my, I have a friend, maybe I'll, I'll visit him when the emergency is finished. Oh, okay. How do yeah. you, uh, bueno. How about you, um, your friends? Yeah, I have many friends around the the, the, the city, in Chachuapa, mm -hmm. Los Naranjos, Japa. Yeah. Okay. We live on the moon by 2050. Well, would you like to go? <laughs> 20 if you I don't know. I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> Peter is not studying hard enough. He going to fail his exam. I think will. Will. All right, were you able to finish the first um, exercise? Yes. yes, teacher. All right, are there any questions? No. No, no? okay, good. No. No. Um, our, our second exercise is still connected with future, um, and it's related with the one of the images that I sent you um, earlier to the WhatsApp group. See if I can find it. Uh -huh -huh. I think this is it. Yeah. To receive this. Did you receive um, this image? Yes. Okay. So, yes, um, so the instruction says will go into or present progressive, one of the three. So remember, um, will, if it's a possibility, going to if it's for plan, present continuous. Um, does anybody remember the two functions of the present continuous? No. What, what is the- I don't function? remember. Okay, uh, can, okay, can someone tell us the general function of present continuous? To represent an action or something that is happening. Good, that is completely correct. Um, we use the present continuous to talk about an action that is happening in this moment. It's an action that is in progress, but also you can use present continuous for future events um but you need to have a time expression so if i said what are you doing now it means in this moment but i can also ask you what are you doing this coming weekend this coming weekend is the time expression that will indicate that you're using present continuous with a future function what is it? Estarás haciendo. ¿Qué estarás yeah. haciendo? Yeah. This coming Sunday, this coming weekend. Uh, 
So if you don't mention a time expression, then the present continuous is being used as something that you're doing right now. But if you include a time expression in your sentence question or negative that you're saying, then it's, it's related to the future tense. Any questions or comments there? Sorry, no. teacher. I can I can I, hear you. I love the communication. Am I? Can, can I you can hear, hear me you? now? Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Yes. I was saying that the present continuous has double function. The yes. one that you use to talk about events that are in progress, things that are happening right now, or mm -hmm. If you include a time expression in your information, then it's going to be used for future uh, events. So if I said, what plans do you have when this emergency passes, when this emergency uh, is okay. finished? So uh, when I say when this emergency is finished, maybe I'm saying three, four, five, seven weeks from now. So it's future because right now in this moment, the emergency is not finished. Okay. So, uh, or imagine that um, your company gives you a bonus of $200 and someone is going to ask you, what are you going to do with that money? Or you can say, what are you doing with that money? Que vas a hacer con ese dinero? So it's, uh, okay. it's, it's, it's a future uh, okay. event. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right, good. The structure, sorry, the structure, the structure is with ENG. Okay, the, if, 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 yes, if you're using present continuous, the form of the verb is with the ING form. So ING. what are you what are you doing on Friday? Oh, I'm staying home. I'm okay. working six hours. I'm cleaning my house. So, okay. So you use the ing form of the verb to talk about future events. Okay, thank you. Sure. Anybody else has any comments or questions? No, no questions. No? All right, so I'm going to assign you uh, to work in pairs again. Um, and use the image that I have in the computer right now. And also you already received it in your WhatsApp chat. So just make sure that you, um, let me see it. Uh, move to room two, move this here. Who is exchange with alien? Elizabeth with Antonio. Samuel is going to war with Said. All right, so here we go.
thing is uh, uh, my father uh, will go to Australia next Washington years. Um, uh, it's difficult to get to it. Which number? Um, number three. I don't think schools very much in the next few years. Uh -huh. in, the few, in the next few years. I think it's will. Um, will. Will. Because it's your opinion. I don't think school will. Oh, I hear too many voices now. Okay. Will change. Okay. Will change very much in the next few. Um, I don't think school will will change very much in the next few years. Yeah. Okay. The uh, high teacher. We have will. a question with the number three. Excuse me. The teacher. Okay. Uh, when you say I don't think schools. Is that uh, your personal opinion or is it a fact? Personal opinion. Exactly. So yeah. when you're giving your personal opinion, you say will. Okay. Mm -hmm. Will. Teacher, I always use will for anything, for everything. Um, if, if That's correct. In a, in a real conversation, me, me. you could use will for uh, every time that you're using future information. So it's, it's, it's fine. It's okay. Uh, yeah. Grammatically speaking, you should be a little bit more careful, um, mm -hmm. especially if, like, if you're taking an exam or if you're doing homework, um, books. Okay. They tell you that will is one thing and going to is something different. So, but in a real conversation, feel free to use whichever comes to your mind first. Okay. Yes. That, that's important. I like that. Yep. Thank you. All right, good. Okay, thank you. Sure. Okay. Berries live on the moon by... 2015. Mm -hmm. I think that people will live, will live on the moon. Are you practicing? Antonio? Mm -hmm. I don't have the... Uh, yes. Yes, we are. All right, good. Which but, number? Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're trying to see um, the, the example of the image that you sent uh, to, to grab that for just, just for, a, for a, a kind of reference. Guide. All right, yeah, good. good, good. Did you did, did you find it, Pedro? Well, or um, mm -hmm. because you always can say we will be buying. Buying. Yeah, maybe probably it's more <laughs> more like that. We will be buying. Buy. We'll be. Which number are you doing? Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, the uh, our computer broke down yesterday, so we. We. Uh huh. <laughs> What's the answer? <laughs> I'm not sure if we will be buying a new one, or That's... you can. I don't sure. know if you can say buy. they're going to buy, buy a new one, son. Now remember, so... the computer that you had broke down yesterday so it's not good anymore so you yeah. know that you are going to buy a new one new one i know uh-huh i know why 
Yeah, so we are going to buy going a new one soon. Know. Ah, okay. Yeah. Ah, okay. I have like the doubt, doubt because it, it doesn't... Oh, maybe because you have planet, plan for right, it. Right, because like in my case, imagine that the computer that I'm using right now breaks down and I need to use it every day. So I know for a fact that I have to buy a new one. Yes, that's mm -hmm. right. Mm. Okay. Yep. Good. Thank you, teacher. Sure. Gracias. I hope robots espero que la, um, will will do the ha housework in the future. Yes. Good. I can come to cinema with you. I I gonna meet. Oh, I will. I gonna meet John at eight o'clock. <laughs> because <Keep going. laughs> yeah. I do the for used to what is that? going going to going the bird will for possible plans. Okay, then uh, let me see for the number number what number five because of the exercise and for the class that we had. I think he the correct answer would be he's going to jump. Exactly. Yeah. yeah? Uh, yes. Oh my god, you're still there. <laughs> he is now. Good, very good. And I think uh, he is club. Yes. But what? I don't know. The, I go to the the club. The, the first part is a sentence, is a question, right? Yeah, the first one is a question. Yes. And it is with, with Will or going? Which number are you doing? Uh, the last one, teacher. 22. Um, let me check. Uh -huh. <laughs> Eight to nine, twenty-two. We can't really uh, go out tonight. Yes, I to go to the pub. What is pub? Uh, pub is another form to say club. Oh, uh, pub. Okay. Yes. And what's the difference, teacher? Uh, no, there is no difference. Pub is British, club is American. Ah, mm, okay. but it's 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 the same place. It's a club. Mm, okay, okay. okay. Yes. Uh, teacher, I have a question. Yes, ask me. About the platform, uh, I'm, 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 I, I don't know how to say this, but uh, until where? Until what I have to do the the, the unit. Okay, uh, um, you should have unit three ready. And when we finish this week in two days, you finish unit four. And then next week you leave it for unit five, if you want to. If you want to move faster, you can go ahead and do it too. So there is no specific date. But I do recommend that you work in your platform. Like if we finish um, X topic today, you do the same topic in the platform maybe tomorrow or the weekend. Uh, okay. Yep. Okay. But there's no okay. specific date to, to have the platform ready. Okay. It's okay. All right. Good. Thank you. All right. Is, yeah, yeah, talk uh, to me. No, no, you first time, what? first time study with study with uh, this platform. Yeah, it's it's the first time because all my classes I do take a presentation. 
Oh. I, I just study in Academia Europea uh, around one, one, one year, uh -huh. in two months. But I leave the classes because I, I had to to get, uh, to get a work. Uh -huh. So, uh, in that time, I decide to to work in Almacenes Iba. For me, uh -huh. it's so difficult because I leave to study English. So, mm -hmm. yeah, but but I like study online. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's good. Okay. The teacher eats, eats with us. Can you see? Yes. Okay. Teacher, we finish it. <laughs> All right, so we're going back to the main session. Yeah, okay. if okay, we are going to return. Yes. Okay, let's let's go. Mm, more break rooms, close rooms. All right, uh, are there any questions related with the exercise you guys were doing? Yes, I have one. Yes, Jennifer. No, Elizabeth. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, and then... <laughs> um, um... <gasps> Ya la voy a buscar y ya le vuelvo a decir. <laughs> okay, don't worry. <laughs> Anybody else has any questions or comments related with the last exercise we were doing? Can you resolve, please, uh, quickly? Sure. Uh, all the please, sure. because I have to be sure. Yeah, number one is my father is going. To Australia next week. Okay. What are your plans for the future? I'm going to be a famous actor. I don't think schools will change very much in the next few years. Our computer broke down yesterday, so we're going to buy a new one soon. Look at that map, at that man on the bridge. He's going to jump. Okay. I think that people will live on the moon by 2050. Okay. Peter is not studying hard enough. He's going to fail his exams. The sun is shining and the sky is so blue. It's going to be a nice day. The phone's ringing. Okay, don't worry. I will answer it. I hope robots will do the housework in the future. I can't come to the cinema with you. I'm meeting John at eight, or I'm going to meet John at eight. I can't find my glasses, don't worry. I will help you find them. 13, my sister and I are going to travel to India in July. Okay. These cars are going too fast. They're going to crash. I'm going out. Do you want to come with me? Why not? I'm taking my sweater. Or I'll get my sweater. I'll get my sweater is better. 16. Mom, can I go out now? I promise I will do my homework tonight. That was number 16. Check the... Mom. Okay. Can I go out? Can I go out now? Okay, let me see this here. Did I tell you that I broke my phone yesterday? No. So I'm I'm using one that is really difficult to see. So uh mom, can I go out now? I promise I'll do my homework tonight. Then 17. Uh, 
I'm going to buy some new clothes. My old ones are too small. Uh, 18, when I grow up, I probably won't watch so much TV. Uh, Mandy and John are getting married on June 25th. Uh, 20, tomorrow the weather is going to be sunny and dry. 21, this exercise is too difficult for me. Don't worry, I'll help you or I will help you. And 22, do you want to go out tonight? Yes, I, my goodness. <laughs> go to the pool, I, I'm going, I'm to, going the pub. to the pub. I'm going to the pub. Going pub. Okay. To pub. Yes. Okay. Okay. Are there any questions or comments um, related with this exercise? Mm -hmm. I have a question. Yes, Eduardo. Um, and we have three ways to answer that exercise, right? One more time. I, 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 you're, you're because I think all... Well, uh, can you hear me right now? I, I can hear you now, perfectly. Okay, I, I, say, I said that if we have three ways to answer that exercise, and we're going to un uh, present continuous, I think. And you had three possibilities, but you had to choose the first one. If you look at the, of the exercise, it says, will to be going to or present continuous. So you had to choose the best option from there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Oh, now, question. Yes, ask me. And when do you going to use the present perfect? And when do you have to use will? I'm sorry? Uh, you say present perfect and? Will. Well, will is for future when things are positive, negative, or question form. You say will for future. Present perfect, you're talking about actions that are not finished yet. So maybe when you are, uh, for example, have you been to Guatemala before? You said, yes, I've been in Guatemala two times, but right now you're in El Salvador. However, because after this emergency is finished, you say, well, one of the things that I will do when this emergency is finished, uh, I'm going to go to a... Uh, uh, Guatemala. So being in Guatemala is not finished because you're not dead. So uh, you use the present perfect for actions that are not finished. And you use will for actions that are connected with the future. Okay. I got it. Thank you. All right. Anybody else has any other questions or comments related with this last exercise or any any other questions? I have one. Yes, sir. What is the correct part to say this year? Because you said uh, 2050. Yes. So I was thinking the the way the correct way to to say was a twenty fifty. Yes, it's not correct. You, you can say twenty fifty. You can say two thousand fifty. The two options are good. Okay, both are yes are the, good. The, the two options are accepted. Yes. Okay. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Anybody else has any other? Questions or comments? No? Okay, so if you don't have any questions, we're going to stop here. Once again, I thank you for your time. And I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Same place. Okay, see you time. tomorrow. All right, thank guys, have you. a good night. Good night. Good night. Yes. Bye. Have a nice night. You too. Thank you. Thank you.